America F1 during the summer break. I hope everyone's enjoying their summer break today. And I hope you are jonesing. And I do mean jonesing for Formula One to start again. And today we're going to be getting into what's going on with Aston Martin. And now that Ferrari seems to be out of it, there's only one team left. And that's Aston Martin for Adrian Newey to go to. All the way from the great city of New York. And we have Paul, as usual, from Ireland. Why don't you... Are you guys with me here? Are you Are, you, are you here? I mean, this Aston Martin thing, and you got Scott in his Aston Martin... Look, Scott, since you're dressed in Aston Martin, why don't you just kick it off? I mean, look, Lauren Stroll... To win a championship, come hell or high water, and will spend any amount of money, and will hire whoever he needs to get there. And that includes Adrian Newey. Adrian Newey wanted to go to Ferrari. He entered into a pre-contract with Ferrari. He was playing footsie with Piero Ferrari for a while. That is where he wanted to go. But he also was aware of Ferrari's shortcomings, and that is bureaucracy the inability to make decisions, interference from the parent. And so what he wanted was essentially in the technical area, the powers of the team principal. He wanted authority to hire and fire all the technical people and the authority to form and unform and veto technical partnerships. And according to all the news reports, that was a bridge too far for Ferrari and for Fred and they wouldn't give it to him. But Lawrence Stroll and Aston Martin will give him a blank check over that kind of power, as well as $100 million over four years to come. He doesn't have to move. Now. And he can, and he's looks like he's going. Now, Paul, you had a good point about this, about how much money this is costing Aston Martin. And why don't you uh, share with everyone what that point was? Okay, so first things first, because I know Scott knows a lot of this. Uh, Scott, how much do you think a a team gets for a championship win? About a hundred and forty, a hundred and fifty million dollars, and it goes down okay. about nine million dollars. Okay. From so my conversation with Sherman pre the pre the podcast uh, was, you know, what is the end goal here for for uh, Lawrence Stroll? So Lawrence Stroll, I believe. This is a narcissistic run because if you figure it out, they're going to have a Honda engine in 2026. No matter what Newey does, it's not going to matter until 2026. Uh, you can't just come in and redesign a car from the ground up in, in a few months. Um, so we'll see signs in the middle of 2025, improvements that he's made. But realistically, it's all going to be about wrapping it around the new Honda engine in 2026, an unproven engine because they've been out of the game. Red Bull has been using a uh, spare parts bin full of uh, Honda bits for the last uh, year and a half while Honda pulled out. And I think that this is a massive risk for uh, Stroll. I also think that, you know, you, you can do everything and you can manufacture a car and you can design a rocket ship. But if you don't have the drivers and Alonso is going to be tired by 2026 and his child nepotism all the way for Lance Stroll is not going to win him a championship. So who's he putting in the car? So it doesn't matter what else you can have all the, we, we have a saying over here and it's all fur coat and no knickers. <laughs> well, from what I, from, for answering the question of how much the team gets paid for winning the mm. constructors, the prize pool is, about one point four billion dollars. No, no, no. And about a hundred. Oh, sorry. You're saying, oh, overall, no, the prize pool. Pool, pool. Okay. The pot for everything mm, okay. is about one point four billion dollars. Mm. And reportedly, as of March first, twenty twenty four, for first place, it's one hundred and forty seven million dollars. Right. Reportedly, that's that's okay. what's being reported. And he and um, sorry to interrupt you, but he's pledging. So he's going to take on Newey for a hundred million over X amount of years. But Newey, as uh, as will be discussed by Scott, is bringing potentially twenty people uh, under his guidance to the team. So how do you budget that? How does that become profitable? And my point is that 
Aston Martin, just just one sec, Aston Martin is not going to suddenly start producing road cars based on, uh, you know, the, f the fame and the fortune of, of Aston Martin team becoming the first or winning a championship. It's, it's not like, you know, you could then convert this all into road cars and business, right? So you gotta you gotta sell an awful lot of merch to to warrant that it it is a narcissistic trip on behalf of lawrence stroll at this stage That's well it. as far as merch goes you don't really see when you go to the race there's not a lot of people wearing aston martin merch i mean other than scott scott has all the merch probably bought up all the merch sure. for, and nobody else could buy any but <laughs> not everybody has aston martin merch it's pretty much ferrari Red Bull and Mercedes, pretty much. That's pretty much what you see. Every once in a while, you'll see another something else, but not not much. Oh, here's my thing, and this is why I'm excited about the whole thing: is Honda's coming in 26, so that has to mean that Yuki is coming, baby. He has to be coming because if Honda's coming, and we all know that Yuki comes with Honda, so if Aston Martin is going to take on Honda. And it'll be Carl. I can't imagine it being called Aston Martin Honda. It's going to have to be Honda, and they're going to have to rebrand it into something else, I would think, because then you have two car manufacturers in the name. That would be kind of strange, but I guess you could do it. You could be Aston Martin Honda, but that means Yuki. And if that means Yuki, Yuki's going to beat the heck out of Lance Stroll. Whoever is in the seat, unfortunately, if Alonzo's still there, if they go out and somehow they can get Max to come to Aston Martin. And that's where I really would love to see. If Max came, or Lance will never, ever be Max Verstappen. That is Max the Max could have a cold. He could have a cold. He could have COVID. He could be he could have the stomach flu. He could be pooping out of his boo-boo. He could be throwing <laughs> up. And Stroll will him. never, ever be able to be Max Verstappen. And as you were, as a father, why would you put your son to that? Why would you want your son to go through that trauma? Because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be trauma. It's going to be trauma. And you know it, Scott. Oh, I think if Max comes um, and, you know, you're, you're hearing reports that he's going after Max. I don't know if they're true or not. If he is, I think Lance goes to, the, to WEC and the Valkyrie program. I think, I think if Max comes... You're going to see Lance in the WEC car, uh, the Valkyrie hyper car that they're testing now and that they're going to have next year. If he really? gets that, would, because that would be good for Lance. It would know? be good for him to really do very well. I mean, because there's no way Lance is going to beat Max. And I don't think Lauren Stroll has any illusions that Lance is going to beat Max. I, I don't. That's not. I don't even think. And if, say, they don't sign him. Yep. He can't beat Yuki. He, he's not even faster than Yuki. Yuki will will probably put it to him. And in most, in most I would, yeah, I, I don't think that would happen. And Paul, if, if, yeah. I, I know you're chomping at the bit to talk about my guy, Yuki, and how great he is. I know it. I see it in your face. And I know you want to talk about Yuki. I know. I know. We all love Yuki love, Yuki love. I, I want to put a different spanner in the works. I want to say Logan <laughs> to be the second driver in the Aston. Who? <laughs> Logan Sargent. <laughs> Who, who's that? <laughs> who's that? Who's Logan Sargent? <laughs> Your American who's driver. <laughs> He's going to IndyCar. He's going to IndyCar. I, I do say I will say I will say this, okay, and and it does make a little bit of sense on paper that to entice Max to Aston, if knew he's gone to Aston and <laughs> Honda is making a return, the engine that brought him the championships, mm -hmm. then why not? Why why wouldn't Max go? Uh, and we, but it'll be interesting to see the relationship. Uh, does Adrian have? that much sway with Yoss because you know Yoss is going to be in Max's ear as to what is a good decision uh, and would it be worth his time going to Aston and it will be a risk I, I, I stand by what I said you know they're going to have a brand new engine in 2026 and a new design and they've all been working on the uh, current aero design so knew he's not going to pull something magical out of the bag now he had his moment with that Red Bull a year and a half two, a year and a half ago so 
I'm not sure it's going to be as magical as everybody thinks that Adrian's just going to move a pencil mark and move a design a little bit and come up with something that is uh, as exotic and, cu and current that the Red Bull was a year and a half ago. But that's what you now, pay Scott, for. Scott, I got a question <laughs> for you. Let's Scott say... doesn't agree with me. No, Adrian's there. Right? Now Adrian's there. Let's just say for happenstance, Max comes, <laughs> Max comes. And then, and then we take Lance and then we... Take him and he's gone. He's gone. He's gone to WC. And then Alonzo says, Well, hey, this guy's coming. I have a chance at a, a winning car for once. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay one more year. Max versus Alonzo, even though Alonzo's older, he's going to be, be 45. I don't care if he's 100 and, 110. <laughs> I would love to see Max and Alonzo and the head games that Alonzo would bring. To that team, and all the struggle from the yeah. inside. I would love it. I would love it. I'd love it. All the I have, I have a picture. I have a picture of a skeleton in a wheelchair, and I superimposed Alonso twenty twenty five on that. He is going to be like he's going to be wheeled from a wheelchair into the car seat. Like he is care. never letting go of that steering wheel. I want to see the chaos. go ahead, Scott. Go ahead. Multi year deal. Alonso's on a multi year deal. You know that they signed him for like probably for two, three more years. If a lot. With with Newey coming, Fernando Alonso will stay, I think, for the full multi-year. Alonso this year, when the car has gone to crap, um, you see you've seen him losing interest and passion, and you see Lance more and more beating him. And it's not that Fernando's forgotten to drive, the fire and the passion is leaving him. Because when you're that age, you really and he's younger than me, but to to be to compete with 20-year-olds. As a 40 something, you need the fire and the passion to do it because you really have to bring your game because your reflexes are just not the same. Anymore. Sure. And he did it last year because he saw victory or, or podiums that he could get. This year, mm -hmm. you see the motivation decreasing. With, with, with new sure. something, you're going to see him trying again and, and pushing like an animal. I think it's really exciting. Uh, but, but look. Mm -hmm. Lawrence Stroll has wanted to have a world champion forever. Is it narcissistic? Maybe it is. But let me tell you something, Paul. A lot of people in F1 are narcissistic. Of course. World champions, they're all narcissists. They're all selfish. They're all killers on the track. That's yeah. what makes a champion. Nice guys finish last in F1. Period. Full stop. They're all, you want to be a champion, you got to be a killer. Lawrence Stroll is a killer. Max Verstappen's a killer. Fernando's a killer. Lewis Hamilton is a killer, period. So you know what? Yeah, Stroll is a killer. He's ruthless. And he just might build a championship winning team with the best car designer in the history of Formula One on his team. So you know what I say? Good for Lawrence Strolovich. Good for you, man. Paul, Bring it go ahead and get it. I know you have to say something. No, no, no. I, I love winding him up and watching him go. <laughs> <laughs> It's fun. It's fun to watch him go. I love his passion and I love his detail. Um, no, look, you are in Formula One to win, of course. This is the only reason. The problem I have with this now is, you know, we we uh, introduced all these budget caps, right? Yes. So for the employees, for the design, for the manufacturer, all of this stuff. So my 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 problem with this is that he is going to spend an absolute fortune on engineers and aero designers. And now if he brings Max, it's going to cost him another couple of hundred million. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a guarantee. So I just wonder where is the cap in this? Where's the, the point of that? Uh, don't get me wrong. I understand. Mercedes did the same. Red Bull did the same. Everybody spent a fortune uh, to get to be number one, uh, I suppose. But it's the purse in this. So it's the it's mm -hmm. the concept that you're taking a team that's, mm, is it even midfielding at this stage? And you're just going to put all the right. Yeah, it's midfield. Yeah, okay. So it's yeah. what? It's 10 teams. They're in the middle. So they're midfielding. And yet yeah, they've slipped back and it's it's a real shame that they've slipped back at the moment uh, because they were they were showing great promise last year um and we were all quite surprised and it was a great and it was great to see alonso don't get me wrong i i am not a fan of alonso's because i grew to dislike him during the the Miss mclaren years um and i just didn't take to him after that hey i've got an interesting fact for people a factoid um the last time uh, alonso won a championship 
-hmm. Lewis was racing in Formula Two. That's right. By the way, that about is, the a, on that, Paul, you're right, by the way. They're going to spend a lot of money. But you know what they mm -hmm. say, right? You want to make a small fortune in racing? Start with a large fortune. Yeah. <laughs> yeah That's absolutely. the last word on <laughs> Aston Martin. Excuse me. Genuine. By all reports, I mean, it hasn't been reported by Adrian Newey himself, and the team hasn't come out with an announcement, but all roads seem to leave to Aston Martin because Ferrari's out, and Williams was never really in the picture. There's really no one left because all the other teams have their people in place. So all roads do lead to Aston Martin. Having no pretty day. I hope everyone out there is enjoying their summer break and chomping at the bit for Formula One to oh, start come back, back pretty soon. And Zando, actually, they must not be selling all the tickets out there because they just sent me a thing in the mail for half off of the grandstands, fifty percent off. And I think it's today and tomorrow. So if you want to go out to Amsterdam, which is a great place, oh. and you've never been. Half price off tickets are being sold right now in the grandstands, and you too can go see Formula One. So, with that, keep on racing, everybody.